been really bored of the cut. Like I've been cutting still and I told myself I wanted to get shredded. It's just really boring. And the lack of progress too. The lack of progress is extremely discouraging. I'll probably weigh in. Like I'll keep weighing in the next few days. But the next few days I'm gonna decide just cause it's not really progressing into what I want it to. I'm thinking about doing like a bulk. I'm not gonna do like a full on bulk though. I'm, I'm not gonna allow myself to get too heavy. It'll just be like something I could cut off pretty quickly, like in a few weeks to like a month and I could be like at least this, to cut to this point, maybe even more. It could just turn into like a reverse diet type of thing or you know, cause I'm gonna watch the scale or I could just go on like a little bulk, like a shorter bulk. It's not gonna be like a full on bulk all winter type of bulk. Cause I don't wanna do that yet. But I'm, I'm also like tempted to get back into benching. I think I need to bulk and cut more often because like I I bulked for like a year and then I've been cutting for like three well the cut started like three months ago but it hasn't been like a three month cut I've had some little breaks in there three to four months I'm about to enter month four since I started it since I decided I wanted to cut I think that's enough I might like bulk and cut in like three month intervals intervals or something like that and I'm I just kind of like itching for something different too. Like this is so boring. I think if I bulk and get back into the bench press, I can max out on bench a few times. See how that goes, and then uh, if that's going good, then I, if I feel like I can continually max out on bench and maybe PR, then I could c continue the bulk. Or if I feel like I'm kind of plateauing, or maybe I do hit like a, a big PR. And then, you know, it's gonna be hard to break a big PR. So I could uh, go back into cutting, kind of take a break from it for a few months and then go back. Maybe I could go for like the two times body weight bench instead of just like bulk up and get like overly bulked and, you know, keep pushing. Cause it kind of like, it kind of stops working after a while. You've been bulking for a while, it could stop working. You definitely plateau. So I think you kind of need a break and to kind of restart and then it kind of like gives you more potential kind of, I don't know, that's just kind of how it works though. But that's kind of where my mind's at. I think I'm gonna do a bench, a bench press type workout today. Like a workout that I would use. If I'm like pushing, I'm trying to increase my bench, kind of think back to how I started benching last time when I started benching and I started the bulk kind of do like a similar approach. I'm not sure exactly what split I want to use yet, but I'm thinking like a push type of workout. I'm gonna have to figure out how to structure it. I'm gonna give myself a week or so to kind of figure out how I want to structure it, watch the diet, watch the scale and see if this is what I want to do or not. But I could transition into like a bulk. I do, I do want to push and I think I can break that 410. I think I'm capable of more. I think my mistake was because I PR'd and then it took me like months to, to break that 405. I hit it like a handful of times, but I didn't actually break it and hit 410 for like months later. I think the, the mistake I made was if I didn't get it like the next month or maybe just like right after I hit 405, I should have gone into a cut now that I think about it. It's like, that's what happened. It kind of gets dangerous when you're like, I hit the, the 405 PR and then the next month I decided to max out and I didn't hit it. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just an off month. I'll do it another month. And then you don't hit it again. And you're like, maybe I just had like an off day. So maybe I just do like a little deload and then max out again. And it gets kind of dangerous. So I'm probably gonna, you know, go to like a PR and then I'll decide, you know, how long has it been? If it's been like three months and I hit the PR, then I'll go into like a three month cut or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if that's exactly what I'll do or not, but I'm thinking about doing something similar to that. Why can I not open this? Oh, it's open. I have my pre-workout snack, some of these. They're like mini rice cakes. Baby, yeah, rice crisp. It's basically a mini rice cake. Pretty good. Having that with these monsters. I had like a free trial of Walmart Plus. So I was like, I'll order some energy drinks. I thought it was a 12 pack, but it was not a 12 pack. It was 12, 
12, 12 ounce cans. I mean, they came in a six pack and it was like over $20. It's a horrible deal. I should have just returned them. I should have just returned them, but I thought it was a good deal. It's not bad, a 12 pack for $21, but it's only a six pack of 12 ounce cans. I think they're normally 16 ounce. These are only 12. But I didn't have any energy drinks and I wanted one today. So I'm, I'm having one. But yeah, that's not a good deal, like at all. I think Amazon, if you order them on Amazon, I think you get a 15 pack of 16 ounce cans for $26. Sometimes they'll have them at like Costco. In store, they don't have good flavors usually. They usually have like original and white. Or what do they call that one? I don't even know what they call the white one. But I don't really like it. But sometimes online, they have the, the 15 packs or the bigger packs for, for cheaper than Amazon. Depends on the flavor though. So they used to have the orange ones and I'd order them on, order them on Costco, but I don't think they have them anymore. I haven't checked in a minute though. But yeah, having this. Amount of caffeine, I have no idea. It doesn't even say, probably less caffeine because it's 12 ounces instead of 16 ounces. So that's like 25% missing, I think. I'm not good at math. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking how I want to do this. Push-pull legs kind of works, but it's kind of a boring split, so I'm gonna have to figure it out because I kind of like to bench twice a week when I'm like pushing for the bench. Twice a week. What else is my requirements? Twice a week. I don't even know. I usually look at the calendar when I program for bench. I look at the calendar. I say, what are my bench days going to be? I pick my day that I want to max out on, and that's usually Sundays. That way it gives me, because I work like a regular schedule and I with weekends off. That way I have a rest day on Saturday and that, that ensures that I'm kind of like fully rested by Sunday. You know, just, just don't do too much. Don't do anything crazy. That's going to burn a ton of calories the day before a max out. And if I have like that rest day, like I'll work out a lot of times. but Or sometimes I won't if it's like the day before the max out. So if it's like a leg day or something, like right before the max out, then I won't work out and I'll max out. And then I can do that later or whatever, because I'll go into the deload. Or I can just skip whatever workout that is, or it just depends. But but yeah, gonna think about it, getting back into the bench press. I haven't benched in, it's probably been at least a month, maybe longer. I wanna say longer, since I actually benched at all. So no idea what I'm gonna do today. We'll go off a feel. It won't be like a max out or anything. Maybe I'll like rep out 225. I'm expecting it to be weak. Cause like I plateaued on the cut, but I've still been on the cutting diet. And what did I weigh today? I think I was around 197, I wanna say. My low was 195. I, I've been able to get to 196, but I haven't been able to touch 195 again. So I think the only way I could actually get back down to 195 or lower is if I did some kind of like multi-day fast. Like it's just, it's just plateaued, it's just done. And yeah, finish off these things and this energy drink and I'll get to it.